Hi, this is Mike Buller. I'm with the Link Local Network. Link locally, connect globally. We have the pleasure of being in the Chicago Tribune offices, or actually the Trib Local offices, mm -hmm. Westchester, Illinois, and we're visiting with Kara Silva. Kara is a producer, is that yes, correct? that is correct. For, what, a, there, there's over 80 different uh, towns, towns yeah. that are involved with the Trib Local. And how many different newspapers is it? We have 21 different newspapers. 21 different papers. Uh -huh. And which ones do you cover? I cover the Barrington edition as well as the Crystal Lake edition. And the Crystal Lake edition, okay. Uh, when we first visited with you, we went over a couple of different topics about how individuals, companies, or businesses, maybe even nonprofits, mm -hmm. can take better advantage of some of the uh, uh, things that the Trib Local offers them, right? Mm -hmm. yep. How they can get into print somewhat, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, uh, right. definitely. One thing that a lot of people may not know is in order to actually get your submissions into print, you have to post it first online. And then we just go through the online submissions and use those for print. So it's really, if you ever want to get anything in the actual print side of things with Tribble Local, you got to go and register online at TribbleLocal.com. Um, and I guess, do you want a couple tips then? Yeah, so you have to, to go register published. online. Uh -huh. Online, and if you want to get published, the first tip I believe you mentioned was you need to have a photo. Yes, well you, don't, you never need to have a photo, but it definitely helps. It helps us and it's going to help you. You're going to get more readers reading your submission as well as we're going to have a lot more options to be able to use your post because we have, basically with our print side of things, we have different templates, tepl templates and uh, those photos, <laughs> those photos <laughs> actually help us use more of those templates and um, as well as online we can do more with it as well. Something a little tidbit. Uh, with the cover usually it's always just staff content but on occasion if we have a good photo that a user submits to us we'll use a contributor photo which is a photo from you and, that's, and sometimes it's nice because then you can actually get your stuff on the front page which is definitely going to get you a lot of eyes on that article. So, But back to the photos. Um, definitely when you're submitting a photo you want it to be high resolution 300 uh, DPI, which is um, dots per inch. Um, also, sometimes people post flyers if they have an event going on. Don't post flyers. It ends up getting cut strangely, and it just it doesn't look good. Um, we actually do not take videos, but if you did upload a video to YouTube, you can link it to the YouTube video. So that's one way to get around that. Uh, make sure to include captions with your photo as well. It's always hard when someone's looking at a photo and they don't know who's in the picture or what they're looking at. We just ask for the who, the what, the where, and the when, and that's that can be wrapped up in a sentence, so it's pretty quick. What about why? Huh? What about why? Well, why, I mean, you could always delve into that with another sentence or two, but I'm usually the why is explained Those are the in the article. Those important things for news, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Keep it, you know, keep it tight, keep it concise, and that's all you need. Um, also, uh, if you have a photo, you can we can use it in the calendar. We have a nice little photo spot in our calendar that we have, which is a two-page spread. Um, as well as our page five, and every single edition of every paper has a really nice photo spot that uh, we can only use stories that have photos, obviously, with it. So that could be you if you have a photo with your story. All right, and then stories themselves. Mm -hmm. What's the most advantageous, or there's some that you pick versus other ones that you may not pick? Such as, I don't know, somebody's having a sale, is that going to work? Nope, not going to work. Not if you're, work. yes. If you're having a sale, you need to take out an ad. That's kind of like that fine line that you have to be able to decide if you're going to actually pay money to take out an ad or if you're going to actually write a new story. So. Okay. All right. Why don't we try another tip? Okay. What's next? Um, it kind of actually ties into what you just said. Uh, we just want the facts. When you're writing, think of an inverted pyramid. All the most important stuff at top trickling down to the least important stuff at the bottom. A lot of online users don't have very long attention span. I mean, I know I don't. So if you're scrolling down, you know, over and over <laughs> again, you're not going to make it. You're going to click on to the next thing. So make sure you have everything you add, the crucial info up at the top. Um, also, try to remain as objective as possible. If you're writing about your own business, you don't want the reader to know that that's your business. Make sure it's as objective and informational as possible. Leave out the fluff, leave out the PR writing, and we'll use it nine out of ten times. If you, if the least PR-ish it is, the more likely we are to use it. All right, so there we go. We have two different tips today, Kara. Mm -hmm. We're gonna keep going with this thing, and we appreciate you passing those on to all yeah. your subscribers and other people who'd like to be involved with it. So, it's Mike Buller, 
the Link Local Network. Link locally, connect globally. Thanks for watching.